What is going on, people? I'm here for day number 23 of the 31 Days Hath October series, which I'm doing on this channel. For those of you who have not checked out all 22 other days after this one, go check out that. But pretty much, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's pretty much my challenge video. A lot of people are doing 31 horror movies and 31 reviews. I call it a little bit different than everybody else. I call it 31 Days Hath October. Some people call it 31 Days of Halloween, 31 Days of Horror. But it's pretty much, pretty much the same about, you know, just doing a horror movie review a day. Uh, for the entire month of October, because of course everyone enjoys watching some horror movies uh, during October. I enjoy watching horror movies all year round, but uh, some people uh, only enjoy watching them during uh, during October. So anyway, uh, as I'm trying to look up this on IMDb here, um, I like I said, call it a little bit different, but I also do it a little bit different. I try to do more independent titles. And I try to do them in alphabetical order. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I gotta kind of pivot if it's, you know, maybe not an independent movie or it'll be a different letter or whatever have you. I try to do it, but sometimes I don't have the movie or I haven't watched one or anything along those lines. But I do try and, like I said, try to do more independent stuff or more uh, movies that you might not have heard of. Uh, also, uh, uh, Jonathan Moody at Indie Film Cafe is doing some kind of, you know, independent film uh, series. Uh, the 13th Wolfman is doing uh, 31 Days of Horror. A uh, whole bunch of people. So check the description uh, after this video so you can see. I have everyone else linked. So if the movie I review you've seen already or you might not care about, there's a whole bunch of other people doing it so you can find a movie to watch. Anyway, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, you can hit it, uh, the thumbs up at the end of the video. And of course, hit that bell button. Technically, you don't have to do it this month because I will be doing a video every day. But after this, coming in November and stuff, uh, my videos won't be every day. Maybe every couple days, once a week or something along those lines. Um, but usually after this month, I take a little bit of time off just because it's a... Uh, pretty hectic but hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff anyway today's letter is T and the movie I'm going with is Ticks uh this movie came out in 1993 all the way back then it's uh directed by Tony Randall it's written by Brett V Friedman it stars Rosalind Allen Amy DeLenz a young Seth Green among many others so pretty much what this is it's a creature feature type deal where uh, there's a bunch of troubled teens and all this stuff, and they kind of just want to change their life around, so they end up going to this, uh, like, retreat, I guess you want to call it, where, uh, you get a few adults that are trying to mentor these young kids and, you know, kind of push them on the right path in life, I guess you want to call it. So at this point in time, it's like, it's like a club kind of deal, and they all take a trip to this campsite. Well... Uh, along the campsite, or next to, or around the campsite, uh, there's a bunch of marijuana growers. And pretty much what they're doing is to speed up the process and whatever, they're kind of using these, like, herbal steroids, I guess you want to call it, where, you know, they're making bigger plants, they're growing them quicker and all this stuff, without testing anything, without knowing, you know, the repercussions or what's going to go on after that. You know, at that point in time, they're probably making money so they can care less uh, but what's actually happening is uh, the wildlife around is getting affected, and mostly the ticks. So pretty much what's happening is these gi these ticks are going from, you know, small little things to these gigantic looking, almost like cat-like size kind of creatures and bugs and all this stuff. And pretty much what they're wanting is, you know, when they're, when they're small little insects, they want blood, well... These big ones just have a bigger appetite, bigger, th you know, craving for blood. And now it's these kids and these ca counselors and all this stuff now kind of going for their, running for their lives and stuff to, you know, get away from these creatures. So, of course, you know, all, so many insects out in the world, you get so many of these ticks. Uh, what's his name's in here as well? Um, I just had his name off, uh, you know on the tip of my tongue 
Um, I'm going to have to look it up. I, I'm pissed at myself because I had it and, um, and I lost it. Uh, so I'm gonna, don't mind me, but, um, Clint Howard, I had it. Clint Howard's in this. He plays this like weird, well, I mean, his, his average acting, I guess you would call it is the weird guy and stuff like ice cream man and all that stuff. He always plays that, like that different character and, uh, there's no, you know, no difference in this one. But this is, you know, a B-rated cheese fest, I guess you want to call it. It is entertaining. I remember seeing it when I was really young. And then I'm like, I totally forgot about this. And then I was looking at different uh, movies that, you know, were out of print. This happens to be out of print. So, uh, like I usually, with uh, with this, I'll leave the link for it. And I'll leave, a, uh, <clears throat> I'll leave a link to where you can purchase it. This one, you're going to have to try to find it on eBay if you want it. And the prices are pretty expensive. I found it for like 40 bucks, and it shot up to like 80 90 So it's going to be a little tough to find it. But if you want it, you can find it. Um, and then you can get lucky and maybe find it for, you know, cheaper. But it is out of print. It's put out by Olive Films. But this one is definitely a fun watch if you haven't seen it before. Like I said, more of a creature feature type deal. And it's... Uh, it's just a little bit different than I'm, I'm used to. But like I said, a young Seth Green's in here. Clint Howard. a whole It's, it's all a, a bunch of fun. Um, so I'd say definitely go ahead if you haven't already. Uh, check out Ticks. Uh, what I always do, like I said, I'll leave the IMDB information. I'll leave the uh, trailer so you can check it out as well. Again, not going to be able to probably find it. Because if I look on Amazon, it's going to be over 100 bucks kind of deal. The best way to do it is find it on eBay. But if you want to add it to your collection, you know, look for it there. And of course, like I said, everybody else who's doing some kind of 31 days that I know of, I have all their links, you know, saved. So I put it in the description. So if you've seen ticks before, or you don't care about ticks, or you checked out all other 22 of my reviews, uh, and you didn't want to, you know, see those, check out everybody else's channel so you can not only have movies to watch the end of the month like this in the last week but you'll have movies you know till next halloween kind of deal but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully like i said ticks is a movie you might want to check out uh check the description for everything i talk about as well as all my other social media and uh yeah i guess that's really about it eight more days almost a week left you know it's a long month, a fun month, but a long month, so stick around, and I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.